How do I convince my woman into a foursome with two other women? And how do, how do I get the two other women to participate? Well, most guys go for the threesome. So you, you've gone straight for four. Uh, I'm curious, have you had? Have you done the threesome yet? Because you, you want to walk, you know, you want to crawl before you walk. You want to walk before you run. So have you pulled off a threesome yet? Uh, if so, fantastic. And if that's the case, then keep just just do the same thing again with one extra woman. Uh, it's, that's not that complicated. However, if you haven't had, even had a threesome yet, I would suggest doing the threesome first uh, instead of just jumping into the foursome first. So, how do you convince your woman into a foursome with two other girls? Well, you have to screen for bisexuality. If your woman is not bisexual at all, then this ain't going to happen. You have to screen for bisexuality and figure out if, she, if she's like even into women in the first place. Um, the only exception to that rule, if she's not bisexual, is... Oh, does, is, does she just not mind sharing, or does she, or does she have a cuck queen fetish where she gets off on watching you with another woman? Now, uh, these are all things that you can. Uh, these are all fantasies you can kind of elicit to her psychologically through dirty talk. So you can start to describe these like whilst you're engaged with sex in sex with your primary woman, your, your girlfriend or whatever. During the act of sex, you can whisper dirty shit and you can whisper dirty talk into her ear and describe certain scenarios that allude to threesomes and allude to other women, allude to women watching, allude to her watching you with other women. So the two really basic ones I always go to are, um, and you can do this in doggy, it's really, it's, I tend to find this works better in doggy style because it's more like, it's more of a dominant position. She's more of a, in, in more of a submissive position. You can pull her hair and, 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 and turn her head and into your face and whisper in her ear at the same time. It's very erotic, <clears throat> very dominant as well. So the two kind of what we call frames that I usually go to are, <clears throat> imagine if there was a girl in that corner right now, tied up on that chair, watching us fuck like this. What is that? That is a uh, exhibitionist fantasy. So you're eroticizing in her mind the idea of another woman watching the two of you. That's step one. The other, the other, the next sort of frame that I wish for to drop is imagine if you were tied up in that chair right now watching me fuck another woman the way I'm fucking you right now. That is taking herself and putting herself at, like out of her body and putting it into like a voyeuristic uh, kind of fantasy. Or you could also call that a, a cuck queen fantasy. A cuck queen, by the way, is the opposite of a cuckold. It's like a female cuckold. So there's that. So <clears throat> that's how you introduce. That's a good way, a solid way to introduce this fantasy. Also, you can like, that's in the bedroom uh, and sexualizing this idea. So you have to start by sexualizing the idea. Um, also, outside the bedroom, you can just uh, like I don't know. You haven't really given me any information here. Like, is your woman bisexual? Do you know if she's bisexual? Have you talked about this before? Have you and she, or talked about the idea of threesomes? Have you talked about the idea of multiple women? Have you talked about the idea of of going out and hunting a woman together? All these things need to be talked about and come up and come up in conversation, um, either before or after you talk about these fantasies. So that's step one. And then the easiest way to to hunt for like if the, the two of you. The easiest way is, way is to get. You have a primary girl, and then you hunt. The two of you and, her, you and your primary girl hunt for a third. That's the simple, easiest way. Easiest way to do that. Get some good quality photos taken of you guys uh, together. And some great, great, sexy photos of her. Have her create a Tinder profile or whatever. And have it as a couple's profile. So the first picture is probably her looking really hot. And then there's pictures of the two of you. And it's very, very obviously stated in the bio. You're a couple looking for a woman. Looking for a third woman to have some fun with. And then you do that. And then you build up a roster of a couple of girls that you fuck who are bisexual and then you bring everyone together and there's voila there's your foursome <laughs>